Hi everyone, it's Amateur One again. Um, this is my next video in my Linksys Mod Maker tutorial series. So this video is going to be going over how um, you create mobs. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is hit the new mob button. So it comes up with the new mob window and the first thing you do is assign your mob a name. So I'm going to be creating a redstone snowman who spawns in redstone biomes at night and attacks you and drops the redstone snowballs I created earlier. So redstone snowman right here is going to be aggressive. So there's two types of creatures right now. There used to be a third water type, um, but that was really buggy and just was not working. I'm not sure if that's going to return or if there's going to be more creature types in the future. But right now there's passive, which spawns during the day and doesn't attack you no matter what, even if you hit it. And then there's aggressive, which attacks you um, upon sight and spawns during the night. So the redstone snowmen are going to come out at night in the redstone biome and attack you. So max health, I'm pretty sure this is in half hearts, so one right here, it would only have half hearts, so you could kill it with one hit. I'm pretty sure that is what it is. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna put that at 20, because I'm sure that that would be the equivalent of the player health, because they have 10 hearts. So spawn probability is how likely the mob is to spawn per chunk, I think. So basically how common the mob is. Um, I'm going to make this 20 so that it's really common. But I think that, that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm positive that it's going to be really common. So we can find that, um, when I go into Minecraft. So minimum per chunk that, so that is if there's going to be, um, the redstone snowmen that spawn in a chunk, this is going to be the minimum number that are allowed to spawn. So they cannot spawn under five, um, and I'm going to make the maximum they cannot spawn over 15. So they're going to come in like packs of snowmen. So um, the model type is very important um, because when you select a model, um, your texture is pretty much model based. Like if you create a texture for a model and then assign the wrong model for it right here, it's not going to appear correctly. So I made a texture for a snowman. So I'm going to select snowman. Um, I just want to explain something right now. Um, there's a zombie model and then there's a biped model and sometimes people don't understand what the difference is between those two. A biped is basically a human model. Um, it is the same thing so if you wanted to assign a human texture to that that would make humans come around and the difference between a human and a zombie model is that a zombie has its arms extended um, so that's basically what that is. So. Um, biome spawn this is uh where the uh where the um mob would spawn i'm going to create the redstone biome uh later so that it can be biome specific in the redstone biome so despawnable this just means that um if you go like too far away or the chunk is unloaded or something um if that mob could just despawn if you check it off um mo like most hostile mobs it would despawn uh, but there's certain mobs in Minecraft, like animals, that don't despawn. Uh, they used to, but not anymore. So mob drop, this just determines um, what it, the mob drops when you kill it. Um, the last time that I tested out redstone snowmen, I did not make redstone snowballs, and I killed them, and they um, they weren't supposed to drop anything, um, but that actually crashed my Minecraft. I'm not sure if that's still a problem, um, but I'm um, just warning you. If that's happening, that's what happened to me. So I'm going to uh, make this drop redstone snowballs. So the mob speed is just the uh, movement speed, how fast the mob can move. I'll make it two. I think that's pretty fast. And the texture path is just you assign the texture that you've already created. So redstone snowman right here. So now I've created the redstone snowman. And um, when I create my biome later, he will spawn there um so thank you for watching uh this tutorial is now coming to an end uh that was kind of a quick one but um next tutorial i'm going to be going over structures and biomes so uh, i hope you found this helpful and sandwich one